Welcome back to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Listen up. What do we have here? A lot of people are going to say, Soul Flow, me did tell you from man, you know. So the man, that we are dead. Well, it is what it is. Okay? And like I've said before, everybody should be free to live their life the way they want to live their life. The thing with Dalton is this. His sexuality and rumors surrounding his sexuality has overshadowed his great talent because we all know Sir Dalton can sing you know what I'm saying he's a really 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 good singer anyhow this news that Dalton broke recently about his pansexuality we're going to talk about what pansexuality is what he said in the statements he released to the public himself this is nothing that nobody made into a rumor this is Dalton relating to his audience to the world so I am taking this from a site that is called out.com out.com if you go and look at it it is a homosexual site or a LGBTQ site rather all right so it says that Jamaican singer Dalton Harris won the UK's X Factor in 2018 we remember that since he set out to build a career for himself he's been on the road he's been working a lot trying to build his career Releasing songs like Cry, Graveyard, and No More Will I Roam. But this week, the crooner decided to open up about his life. Now, earlier this week, Dalton Harris told his Twitter followers that he had ended a relationship and that it was the best thing that had happened to him. He said that that relationship taught me that I am valuable and that I matter and that I deserve love. This is what he wrote. He later followed that up with another tweet. And the other tweet says, I want to experience life and be honest with myself and everyone around me in my intentions. Not hide or mask feelings or flaws. Not judge myself. Well, it looks like he's already starting down that path. Now, the path of living life, the part of being honest with his self, you understand? And the part of not hiding and not masking his feelings and his flaws and not judging his self anymore. In a new set of posts now, Harris addressed his sexuality and he said that my privacy is my business and whoever enters my bedroom will get there because of how I feel about them. This is what he wrote. My life is mine to live. This is what he said. He continued the post on Instagram. Left from Twitter, gone over Instagram, go continue the post. And lastly, there's a part that he said, and lastly, to those that are still attacking my sexuality, my privacy is my business, and whoever enters my bedroom will get there because of how I feel about them. Any of the other physical checkpoints... I should meet to make anyone accept me my life is mine is what he wrote he also said thank you to everyone thank you for everything this is the person who he broke up with but he's saying thank you for everything I am growing opinions don't matter anymore but you are welcome to wasting yours in other words then this is this is him talking to people out there who might have something to say I should say to anyone that struggles I will be sharing how to get help in a few days I will take a break to focus on my recovery and feeling healing and be with the people who love me privacy and honesty are different things and no one is entitled to me so in other words then privacy and honesty are two different things people are saying he was not honest because he knows that he is bisexual or he knows that he is gay and he is saying that that's not being not honest or honest that is me being private with me and my life no one is entitled to me I will never ask for acceptance from anyone that struggles to accept me in the slightest bit that is done and over with this part now really got me is where he said to the boys with fragile egos 
I am a top, and he put the word T-O-P, top, to you and your girlfriend, or non-binary partner. So we're going to talk about what non-binary partner means, right? We're also going to talk about what pansexuality means, and the fact that he said top, you all need to know what top means as well. So he's talking to men. And he's telling them that to the boys with fragile egos, I am a top to you. A top is someone that does the riding. Someone that does the effing, if you know what I mean. So in a relationship, now a gay relationship, you, have my, you might have one of the men that are very effeminate. And then you have the, another one that nobody would suspect he's gay unless he told them so. So he would be very masculine. He would be considered the top, right? He treats the other one like the bottom. So Dalton is saying to the boys with fragile egos, I am a top to you and your girlfriend. Bisexuality, him ride the man and the girlfriend. Or your non-binary partner. May I go look up all that and tell you what it means in a minute. All right, so pansexuality is defined as pansexuality is sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction towards people regardless of their sex or gender identity. Pansexual people may refer to themselves as gender blind. Hmm. Asserting that gender and sex are not determining factors in their romantic or sexual attraction to others plain and simple so what that means is someone who considers themselves a pansexual they can fall in love with anybody they can be in a romantic relationship with anybody it says that asserting that gender and sex are not determining factors in their romantic or their sexual attraction to others gender and sex are not a determining factor so if for instance i was going to look for a mate or i want to be with someone gender and sex would not be determining factors for me to say nope that's a man i can't be with a man or no that's a woman i can't be with a woman in other words, they don't discriminate about who they get romantically or sexually involved with. Now, he used the word non-binary, and I'm going to define to you what non-binary is. Non-binary, taken from transquality.org. Most people, including most transgender people, are either male or female. But some people don't neatly fit into the categories of man or woman, or male or female. And you would say, how? Let me explain quickly. There are human beings that are born with both sex organs. So they have a penis and they have a vagina. Okay? Then there are others who are born feeling like they are a male because they have all the male hormones. And yet they were born physically into the body of a female there are also people who man male dress as women so they don't feel like they fit into just a man or a woman category and they don't want to be categorized as such for example for example some people have a gender that blends elements of being a man or a woman or a gender that is different than either male or female some people don't identify with any gender at all. They just want to be gender fluid. Some people's gender changes over time. People whose gender is not male or female use many different terms to describe themselves. Let me say it again. People whose gender is not male or female use many different terms to describe themselves. With non-binary being one of the most common terms used. Other terms include gender queer, agender, or bigender, and there are more. 
None of these terms mean exactly the same thing, but all of them speak to an experience of gender that is not simply male or female. So Dalton has, in a essence, come out, okay? And he has come out to let everybody know that this is what he is, and this is what he identifies as, and pressures are off his shoulder. And he will never fight for acceptance from people who don't accept him for whatever reason. In other words, then, people who don't care about you shouldn't matter to you. And he is in that place in his life now where he is going to live like that. Care about the people who care about you and don't pressure yourself overly concerned about the opinions of people that don't care about you. Let me close this video by saying this. I think it's just sad that his whole sexual thing has taken over the shine, the limelight, the spotlight off of his amazing talent. Dalton can sing. And when I listen to Dalton Harris sing and when I watch him sing, perform live, I don't think about his sexuality. I think about how a powerful singer he is. I think about how strong his vocals are and how he is able to emotionally convey a message through a song. That's all I see. But everywhere I look, and to be honest with you, I've been looking for new material from Dalton ever since he won X Factor in 2018. We are in 2020. I was expecting to see him blaze a trail across uh, radio airwaves, at least in the UK, where he won the competition. And people from the UK said, yes, Oflo, he is on the radio here. He's doing good here. But I wanted to see more. I wanted the songs to be so powerful that they're even played on US radios where I'm at and played in Jamaica and played other places. Even though recently he came out, besides the fact that he came out saying that he was going to kill himself and then it was because he spoke to God why he decided not to do it but to actually relieve himself of this burden and come clean with everybody and make them know that this is what it is. Don't worry about that anymore, right? And he's also reaching out to people who are going through the same thing. So he is trying to be somewhat of a healer. And he can be because he has been given the influential power now. He is Dalton Harris, the winner of X Factor 2018. So a lot of people know him now. He has had the spotlight. So he can definitely be of some inspiration to others going through whatever it is that he was going through that made him feel as if he was better off dead than alive. At this point, it's Dalton's business, really. I was never concerned about it, and at SoFlow TV, from day one, and we got on YouTube five years ago, so from day one till today, we have still maintained the same thing. Live and let live. Not concerned about what another person does in their bedroom or with their private parts. If you're not involved in it, leave it alone. It's not your concern. But oftentimes when they bring it to the public, then we speak on it and we pass our opinions and our judgments. That is what social media is. That is the world we live in and that is what the public does when famous people bring their laundry out the laundry room. Put it that way, right? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Are you surprised that Dalton is now flying the pansexuality flag or the pansexual flag? Are you surprised of all the things that he is saying, uh, indicating that he is rather bisexual? Are you surprised of all this, or does it not mean anything to you at all? We could have done something else with the time other than talk about that, that kind of stuff. Let's talk in the comment section. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.